Thank you for joining us today, Raha. It's a pleasure to Thank meet you with you. Me. Can I introduce you? Raha Muharak? Yes, perfect. Uh, the first Saudi woman to have climbed Mount Everest. You are quite extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel very ordinary, but I'm very honored to, to do such a great thing. Well, you have broken a lot of stereotypes, so thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, the first question that we'd like uh, to ask you is, obviously you are a woman who's breaking stereotypes in every field. Um, how do you feel that marketeers in the Gulf region, you're a graphic designer, you've got the background in communications, how do you feel that brands are keeping up with the changing attitudes of female uh, consumers. I think brands have uh, realized that in order for you to move a, a woman to have to 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 get her to do something, you need to sell her something that more than just a thing. You need to give her an idea, mm -hmm. a concept, uh, whether it's confidence or um, uh, just making you believe in yourself more by using this product is a very smart uh, um, field that they're tapping into. And it's starting to, to really show nowadays, as opposed to use, the, use this cream, you'll look beautiful. No, use this cream, you'll have the confidence to do X and Y. And I really love this, how the, they're starting to really, really tap into changing someone's idea and giving them more than just uh, looking beautiful. No, but actually having the confidence to go out and look beautiful as well. So that brands are starting to be facilitators of that change. Yeah. In women. That's great. So can you give me any examples, not necessarily of the actual brands, but of things that you've seen that really resonated with you? A lot of the sports brands recently have tapped into this. Uh, they, they give you the tools to, to be the best you can be. Uh, they don't give you the tools to look good. They give you the tools to be the best. Mm -hmm. And uh, usually it's, it's mostly men's type of, it used to be mostly men's type of thing, but you see more and more women in the sports field and because of uh, my background I love uh, anything that has to do with sports so I noticed that it's starting to shift in this field as well. So is it the, is it the sports category that is really uh, driving a lot of change or do you think there's other categories that you would say are also changing in the way that Arab women are also changing? It's across the board, it's not just sports. It's, uh, it's beauty products, it's clothes, it's even services, it's, it's, they, they stopped telling you if you use this, you look beautiful. Rather, if you if you use this, you'll feel great, and you'll be able to be able to do this and that. It gives you more of a capability rather than just oh, you look pretty. So what? No, you look pretty. You feel good. You feel strong. You feel confident, and I love it. I love that finally it's starting to be that rather than just the uh, you know skin deep stuff. Great. So can you give me any examples, not necessarily of brands, but some of the things that some brands may have done? It, it's very difficult because I'm a graphic designer, so I, I constantly uh, watch different things. But um, it, there's a specific sports brand, uh, I think, uh, that really tapped into this. And uh, I'm a big fan of it, and now even more because of it. So, um, yeah. So it's, it's their positioning, it's the fact that the brand is empowering women, it's yeah. a facilitator to make that change happen. It, it, it's going beyond just uh, uh, you know, buying, looking, it, it goes beyond that. And so what specifics, can you give me specifics of things they do? Do they do anything on social media? Anything? They do a lot of, uh, besides social media, they, they enable groups. They, they let groups come together to do what they love. Mm -hmm. Whether it's a certain specific sport or learning a specific sport or anything like that. They, they bring people together to do a specific thing. And, uh, and you see how there's power in numbers. So as soon as you put the group of, of women together that love this thing and have a passion for it, it's like, it's a beautiful uh, uh, domino effect. So mm -hmm. it's, it's mm -hmm. ripples. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what I, I like about it. Excellent. What do you think marketeers should do less of in order to market more effectively to women in this region? Uh, cliches. Just kill the cliches. Not every Khaliji woman uh, strives to be the housewife and kids. Even that, I salute you, that's great. It's everyone's dream to end up being uh, where you want to be in life, whether it's a family or a job. But not everybody aspires to be a housewife. So most of the, the TV ads you see and most of the target ads are a woman at home with a family. Mm -hmm. uh, show us more a woman at work. Show us more a woman studying. Show us more a woman in fields that are not necessarily the, 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 the you know, cookie cutter fields. Show us an engineer, a female engineer. Uh, just 
let's go beyond the, 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 the typical uh, house of sit woman sitting with kids around her. Yes, that's beautiful, but is that really what everyone wants? Not really. So I think this, this re they need to kill stereotype. Rafa, this has been inspirational and thank you also for this fantastic environment. Thank you for it's coming. It's definitely a very feminine you, environment. Thank you. So thank you for inviting us. Thank you for really appreciate your support. Thank you for your time and patience. <laughs>